Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me video. I am doing this video as I get ready for work and I'm going to do a little chit chat about what I do for my career and my work as a scientist and a little bit of my education background. So if you want to hear more about working as a scientist and you can stick around. So I'm just going to put my makeup, my foundation on. I already started putting some on. I'm going to put a little bit more. So basically, I didn't want to do just a video with me just talking into the camera, talking about my career as a scientist and working as a scientist. I wanted to do something where I can do like a chit chat and get ready for work. So basically, I'm going to just put my foundation on and put a little bit of makeup, not too much. Just something simple. I do work in a laboratory, so I don't like to put on a lot of makeup because I don't like makeup getting on my documents too much. So I try to keep my hands out of my face and I try not to put a lot of makeup on. Just a little bit to look presentable in case we have an audit and in case we have visitors in the building. I do like to look presentable and I look like to look professional. So I basically started my career as a scientist in 2000, 2009 when I graduated from college. I went to Spelman College in Atlanta, Georgia and I received my Bachelor of Science degree in Chemistry. Once I graduated I found a job pretty fast in my field working as a scientist and Basically, I've been working as a scientist and a chemist for the last eight years, and I have quite a bit experience now. Initially, I did receive a little bit of discrimination in the past at previous jobs, being that I was so young, and being the and the fact that my career is not very diverse for African Americans. Um, usually, when I work in a laboratory. Oftentimes, I am the only scientist, or you know, in the past, I've been the only chemist, with an exception of a few, maybe one or two black men. But it's very um, low populated for African American women. I am in a good position now with my current company. Company. My coworkers are very nice. I am in a very happy place career-wise, and I do enjoy what I do every day so pretty much I go into work I have my own office and I also work in the laboratory um, usually if I'm in the office I'm doing reports or sending emails to customers but primarily of my job consists of me working in the laboratory so in order to be a scientist usually you have to get a degree a bachelor in science degree and probably biochemistry chemistry uh, biology uh, maybe even physics chemical engineer things like that those those kind of degrees can land you a job as a scientist or as a chemist so if you're interested in going into the science industry you can consult with the university counselor and they'll get you on the right track to make sure that you're taking the classes that you need and you're working towards the correct degree to get you into that field. So basically what I do usually when I go into work I typically will receive samples from a customer normally from pharmaceutical customers and basically they want to figure out I forgot to turn my flat irons on Basically, they want to figure out what's what's in their product. If they have some type of contamination, my company will analyze that particle and let them know what what exactly the particle is. That way, they can figure out, you know, where the contamination is coming from, and they can assess it and make changes. So, typically, my job entails me pro problem solving using different analytical scientific instrumentation in order to figure out the chemical elements in a particular sample and I'll send over the customer 
a report and let them know what we were able to identify the sample as. I really like working as a scientist because I'm able to challenge myself. I'm able to do something different every day. Every day I'm working with a different type of sample. Um, it's very challenging mentally. I'm, I'm always learning things and the science industry is ever changing so there's always an opportunity to learn something new um, in relation to science so I really do enjoy working as a scientist. The dress code at my job and typically for a scientist is very casual. Um, usually you know you're working in a laboratory so you don't have to get too dressy but I do like to maintain a professional appearance as much as possible so I try and restrain from wearing sneakers and hoodies and you know jogging pants and baggy clothes to work. I typically like to wear slacks maybe I'll wear a pair of jeans, some flex. Um, today I'm wearing a dress and I'll put in the um, entire outfit in the video once I'm done but I do like to wear dresses, slacks, khakis, casual pants because you never know when you might have a visitor, you never know when you might need to handle something or a customer may stop by so you want to look presentable all the time. I know it can be tempting to be um, sexy or look a certain way at work, um, especially you know, if you're young and you're, you're first embarking on your career, you might feel like you want to dress a little bit stylish and everything, but it's okay to be stylish at work, but I would recommend dressing professional as possible and then on the weekends and after work you can you know get wavy get swaggy if you want but that's like a really good um, strong advice that I would give to anybody any young black professional because we are we are definitely um, watched heavenly heavenly in the um, the professional world so we have to make sure we're on top of our a-game and always looking as professional as possible so yeah typically like I said today I'm wearing a dress nothing too fancy I got this dress from Ross dress for less um, department store it was about $16.99 so it wasn't too expensive you know you don't have to spend a lot of money but you can still make sure you look up to par for work um, and definitely when it's time to be promoted and your your boss or upper management they may look at your appearance and see that you know that you always maintain professional appearance and they'll be more likely to consider you for a promotion because they know if they send you out to meet with customers or clients that you're gonna look up to part and you're gonna present yourself up to part so that's one thing I like to do. So pretty much when I was at Spelman College, I took a lot of science classes, chemistry classes, biology classes, physics, engineering, things of that nature. Um, getting a bachelor of science degree, a four-year college degree in a science, is not easy. It takes a lot of dedication, long hours in the laboratory, but if you really like science and you're really into science, it's, it's definitely worth it and it'll be definitely rewarding once you finish college and you're working as a scientist and you're able to produce analytical reports and you know help your customers figure out contamination and identify particles and samples is definitely rewarding. If you like to learn, this is definitely a good field because like I said, there are always new advances to the science industry and that's one thing I like about my job. I'm never bored and I'm always learning. The work hours are great too because you know you work full time, you get full time benefits. 
I don't work weekends. If there's something really pressing or a really pressing project that I need to get out for a customer, then I will work and go in on the weekend. But that's very, that's not typical at all for me. And I do like to wear my hair long. I like to wear my weave long, as I mentioned in like previous videos. However, when I'm in the laboratory, and once I put my lab coat on, I do typically leave a scrunchie on my wrist. And I typically will tie my hair up so that my hair won't get in the way while I'm doing laboratory work or laboratory experiments. So, I'm going to finish off with a little bit of lip gloss. This is very simple for work presentable but I don't look like I have on a ton of makeup um, this is the look that I typically go for for work if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and if you have any suggestions or comments let me know if you would like for me to make more videos about my career then it tells more about what I do as a scientist and different experiments that I work on in the laboratory please comment comment below and I can definitely um, make a video of that nature.